Welcome to the Arizona Clinical Informatics Educational Series on Cerner Power Chart Lesson Number 6, Interdisciplinary Care Plans. This lesson series will cover the basic format for accepting, adding, initiating, modifying, and discontinuing plans of care within the Cerner system. Remember that care plans are joint commission and centers for Medicare Medicaid requirements. A care plan is a set of goals, indicators, and interventions grouped together under a single title for your convenience. Care plans are suggested by the system and are based on the initial assessment done on admission. For example, the problem list or the medical diagnoses. Based on clinical judgment, the clinician can either accept or reject a suggested care plan or add additional plans if appropriate. An existing care plan on a patient's chart will not be resuggested. There are fundamental requirements for every care plan. Every patient should have at least one care plan during their stay. Any clinician can initiate a care plan, but it typically starts with nursing. Electronic clinical documentation will link to the care plan. Ancillary staff must document progress on care plan in addition to any other power form or written documentation. For diagnosis is associated with or if there is a quality measure noted for CHF, asthma, VTE, stroke, or etc., then a corresponding care plan must be activated. Care plans need to be customized for each patient to demonstrate individualized care. There are reports within Explorer menu, also known as reporting portal, to monitor care plans. There are some common symbols and phrases that you need to become familiar with prior to us continuing with the care plans. The first is add to phase. This allows goals, indicators, and interventions to be added to the current care plan. Next is document and plan. This allows end users to document on goals and indicators within the ordered care plan. Then we go to filter, which displays all available components that were not previously selected. Discontinue, naturally discontinues any select items in the care plan. Reference text, this provides pertinent reference information within a care plan. Goal, which is the intent of a goal is measured to the outcome by a specified time. Indicator, measures data element, which is indicative of progress towards an overall goal. An intervention, which are usually unscheduled activities that do not have a specified frequency. Met goals, and indicators that are met within the care plan, not met goals, and indicators not met within the care plan. Order, a scheduled intervention that may be defined with a frequency and post as a task to the care compass or patient access list, depending upon your access to Cerner. Quick chart, which allows the user to chart a goal quickly as initiated, met, or ongoing, and not charted which indicates required information that needs to be charted. Moving on to ordering care plans. Any discipline may initiate and update documentation on a care plan if they do see the need for one. This does not have to be nursing only. It can be respiratory, physical therapy, and etc. It does not need to be that nurse's responsibility to initiate the care plan. However, in most facilities, nursing is the primary contributor. Due to the system suggesting care plans based on patient documentation, it is wise to review what care plan is already in progress or determine if a care plan has been suggested. Now that we discuss the need of ordering care plans, let's get down to actually ordering the care plans. First step is to check the navigator view under the plans and suggested plans section. This will display any care plans and the status of that plan. Initiated pending indicates that no action has been taken and the plan is not active. Initiated care plans means that active care plans with at least one goal, intervention, or indicator have been documented on and started. Then there are suggested care plans. These are care plans that are suggested based on a patient's documented problems and or diagnoses. To the right, you can see an example of initiated pending, initiated, and even suggested plans. These are found in the orders pane menu. 
suggested care plans. These are care plans that are suggested based upon problems or diagnoses documented on a, an admission. Plans suggested will populate in a navigator window under suggested plans as shown to the left. And then right click on the highlighted plan to take further action on these suggested plans. The initiate and accept buttons will move the care plan to the initiated pending status under the interdisciplinary section until they are signed off or saved. Reject will remove the care plan from the suggested plan tree after reject plan reason has been selected. A clinician may disregard any suggested care plans and add care plans as it applies to the patient. When you are searching for a care plan, remember that all orders related to care plans will have the word care plan as part of the naming convention. To add a care plan, Click the plus add button within the orders profile to open the add order dialog box. Number two, search for and select the care plan you would like to order and then click done. Please note that all care plans are indicated by the order set icon and they will contain the word care plan within the order name. If the order does not contain care plan but has the order set icon, it will be a power plan or order set which also uses this same order set icon. Plans are added to the order profile and will display with an initiated pending until the care plan is signed. Selecting components and initiating care plans. Once a care plan has been selected, the available components will then display. Every care plan has at least one goal that is pre-selected. The intent of the functionality and process is for nurses to customize the patient's care plan by checking or unchecking the boxes on the left to include or exclude goals, indicators, and interventions which are specific to your patient's care needs. A minimum of at least one goal is required for each care plan. If a care plan is associated with a core measure such as heart failure, stroke, or even asthma, there will be a required pre-selected goal that cannot be unchecked. Select the goals, indicators, and interventions to customize the care plan for your patient. You will see a light bulb that is displayed when an item has been selected. Click the sign button at the bottom of the screen. Here's a screenshot of the transfusion care plan with several goals that have been selected and are being initiated as indicated by the light bulb icons. Refresh the screen and the care plan will now display as initiated. Within certain care plans you may find subphases indicated by the subphase icon which are two yellow squares. The pain care plan contains a PCA subphase and an epidural subphase as shown below. You will need to select the appropriate pain control method to add to your patient's pain care plan if they are needed. Let's move on now to how to modify the care plans, which are CMS and TJC requirements. And we must see individualism to meet our patient's needs. This prevents the hospital from using just plain generic care plans on every patient. Adding to the care plan. If you would like to add additional goals, indicators, and interventions after the initiation of the care plan, follow these steps. Number one, select the care plan from the orders view column. The components will display in the orders window. Number two, click the filter icon to display all available orderables. Number three, check the box or add additional items to the care plan by selecting add to phase. Number four, select add outcome intervention. Number five, type a keyword in the search box of the item you're wanting to add. Six, select the correct search within area from the drop down menu. Seven, select the appropriate choice to be added and click OK. The goal, indicator, or intervention will now be added to the care plan. To modify a goal, below is the diabetes care plan. You see it highlighted on the left. Highlight the goal of prevent hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia met. Right click and choose modify. Modifying allows the clinician to make each goal specific to the patient's needs and target goal dates. 
Take a moment to review the screenshot. Enter the date and time you wish the goal to be met by. It will display beside the plan on the right. Once the plan is signed, it will say activated. The arrow points to the changes on the right. If during a patient's stay, the goal date needs to be extended, simply return to the care plan. And repeat the same steps as above. Right click on the line that needs to be adjusted and modify the date and time. Now we'll focus on the daily documentations in care plans. The guidelines for documentation. A care plan must be reviewed once a shift. The clinician will receive a task at the start of their shift which will still need to be documented as done or not done. All goals must be documented as initiated by using document and plan. It must be documented as initiated to note it's a brand new goal or the patient status has changed and the goal must be initiated again. The next oncoming shift must change the status to ongoing until the goal is met or not met at discharge. If a patient is in restraints, a task will fire and documentation is done by clicking on the task on the patient's access list or care compass, if that is at your facility. The term by phase end refers to the target time frame for a goal, outcome, or intervention that needs to be met. For example, if you had a patient that was going for surgery and has a preoperative care plan, the phase end would be when the patient goes in for the surgery. The phase end goal, indicator, or intervention time frame can be modified if necessary. Simply go to the Orders tab, select the care plan, and right-click on the goal, indicator, or intervention and change the details. Sign and then refresh the screen. The changes will now display on the care plan. If a goal that has not been met by the time of patient discharge, the nurse must document it as not met at discharge and identify the reason and action plan in the outcome variance window. Please note there are times where it will be appropriate that the patient has not met the goal. An example of this would be a patient with chronic dementia may not meet a goal of being oriented at time of discharge. A red X icon indicates that the patient has not met the goals. A green check mark indicates that the patient is within the goal target. These icons indicate the last charted value followed by the date and time of update. Ancillary documentation guideline. If disciplines have specific goals within their documentation, such as PT, OT, and maybe even speech therapy, they will have to document on those goals as well as they go into the patient's care plan and update the goals that apply to them. Completing documentation. The documentation may be done by clicking on the document and plan tab, which will display the plan components. Number one, select the goal, outcome, or intervention you want to document on, and the outcome description will display. Document the outcome and variance for that component. If the nurse would like to add additional comments, it may be done using the outcome notes section. And then finally, number three, sign the documentation. The quick chart icon, a check mark with a right arrow, helps you document goals quickly. It will activate the outcome description and pre-fills a response. Verify the correct response before signing. Viewing documentation. Previous documentation may be viewed by clicking on the plus icon at the side of goals, indicators, and interventions. See the screenshot below. Updates made to the care plan status can also be viewed in plan information. You would do this by right clicking on the appropriate care plan in the order section as shown on the example to the right. The plan information window will display and it shows the status history of the plan selected such as date it was initiated or discontinued and by whom the plan was modified by. Any comments that have been charted within the plan may be viewed by clicking on the Comments folder, which is under the Orders tab. You can also see comments on the Document and Plan tab. Look for the documentation with the triangle. The comment will display to the right side under Outcome Note. 
deleting information that was charted on prior to signing the documentation. If information is charted but not signed, it may be erased using the pencil eraser icon and this will clear any of the information documented on but not signed. Correcting a documentation that was made in error. If information has been already charted on and signed, it can be corrected by using the pencil eraser icon. Doing so will show a line that will be scored across the free text documentation. To view by whom the documentation was made by, click on the book icon and the documentation details will now be displayed. We will now cover the final section of discontinuing care plans or at least the components of those care plans. Discontinuing a component of a care plan. There are two ways to discontinue a specific goal, indicator, or intervention that is no longer applicable to a patient or is no longer needed. Your first option is to right click the goal and select discontinue as shown on the screenshot below. Your second option contains about five steps. Number one, select the care plan from the orders view column. The components will display in the orders window. Number two, click on the discontinue icon. The discontinue window will display. Number three, place a check mark in the box next to any components that you want to keep active. Number four, select the discontinue reason from the drop down box and click OK. Be very careful when doing it this way because every check mark is something that you keep. Leaving it blank indicates that you are discontinuing it. Discontinuing a care plan. Number one, from the orders tab, highlight the care plan you would like to discontinue. Number two, right click on the highlighted care plan and select discontinue from the drop down box. You will have a pop up window that displays asking for a discontinue reason. Select the boxes of the information you wish to keep. If all boxes are unchecked, the entire care plan will be discontinued. Select the discontinued reason and then OK. Click Sign at the bottom of the screen and refresh. The care plan will now enter a care plan discontinued status and move to the bottom of the interdisciplinary plan tree. This concludes lesson number six on interdisciplinary plans of care. Up next is lesson seven of our series on INET.